In this lesson, we're going to move on to the Edit menu. And first, let's pull up an object so we have something to edit. The sunflower should work. All right, you're familiar with undo, step forward, step backward. We've already gone over that. Cut, copy, ah, cut and paste, copy. If you have annotations or text in the document, you can spell check it. That's pretty easy. Um, fill. Fill basically just does what it sounds like it does. You fill the um, the document with whatever color you pick. And let's pick an opacity very low, like six percent. And let's see what that does. Let's see, it added just a little bit of a. Don't even notice it. Let's try moving it up a little bit. 50%. Ah, see now you notice it. So basically that fill is adding to that uh, the layer that we have here. Anyway, so if you had a new document open and let me just show you real quick. And you wanted to fill it we'd uh, pick the color. Let's pick a nice blue just for fun. And let's set the opacity at 30%. Ah, see? We have a nice nice little blue fill in there. That's basically all fill does. I know, it sounds like a guy, doesn't it? Fill. Anyway, alright, let's go to our undo menu and we'll go back to our original Sunflower. All right, let's go back to edit. So that's what fill does. Stroke. Take a guess what stroke does. Stroke adds a border around the image. So let's pick a nice purple. No, that wouldn't fit. How about an orangish color like the sunflower? Like so. Let's try that. Um, do, do you want the stroke to be, here's an interesting thing, do you want it to start at the edge and go out like so, or do you want it to be on the inside, start here, and the stroke would go in the border, or center it, so in other words, a little on this side, a little on that side. We'll leave it at center. How big do you want the stroke? 30 pixels, let's see if how that looks. That looks pretty good. So that's all stroke does, allows you to put a border on something. All right. So there's fill and stroke. 